I'll show you how to extract images from this video so that you can use the image from this video. To do this, I'll use FFmpeg, which is a command line open source tool for any kind of video and audio processing. If you have FFmpeg already installed on your machine, you can fast forward to this video. If you do not have FFmpeg installed, don't worry, I'll show you how to install it for the first time and unlock the potential to process audio and video. Let's directly jump into it. First of all, to install FFmpeg on your Windows 10 or 11, you have to go to the FFmpeg Windows build. I'll share the link in the video description. So after opening the link, you will land on this page. And here, since you are on Windows 11 or 10, you have to download the FFmpeg master latest Win64 GPL version. So currently this is 136 megabyte. I'm clicking on download and downloading on my computer. Once the download is complete, I'll extract the zip file and add the path of the FFmpeg to my Windows environment variable. Now the download is complete. I'm opening the containing folder here. This is the folder where the FFmpeg is downloaded. I'll extract this. And inside this folder, I'll have a folder which is containing all the files of FFmpeg here. Inside this bin folder, the main executive files are present, but will not execute those file. Simply will Rename this folder as FFmpeg and then copy this folder, go to my C drive and paste here. Once I have pasted the files on my C drive or any place safe where you usually do not do delete or use that much in dedicated place for this program. So FFmpeg is copied on my C drive and I have to copy the path of this bin folder up to this bin folder where the fmpeg.exe file is present. I have to copy the path and go to the Windows environment variable. You will find something like edit the system environment variable. I'll click on this and it will open a page called system properties and at the advanced tab i'll click on this environment variables it will have two sections first one is for user variable for current user we'll find out a variable called path after selecting this we'll click on edit and we'll add a new environment variable by clicking on new and here I will paste the copied bin folder of FFmpeg. So once I have pasted this, I'll click on OK. Here I'll also click on OK. So now FFmpeg is installed on our machine. So to test that, let's go to the folder where I'll convert my video to frames. Here I have the video called input.mp4. I'll open my terminal in this directory, my command prompt on this directory by clicking on here in the path and typing cmd and pressing enter. It will open the command prompt in this directory and I'll simply type ffmpeg to check if the ffmpeg is installed or not. Here it's showing that FFmpeg version something is installed. Otherwise you will not see a message like this. You will see that FFmpeg is not recognized as an internal or external command. Okay, so FFmpeg is now installed on my machine. Now we can jump into the actual task we are going to do. We are converting the 
video to frames means video to images so my common prompt is open here in order to convert the video to frames first of all i'll type ffmpg and i'll mark the input file by hyphen i input dot mp4 then since i'm trying to convert the image to frames i'll apply filter like this hyphen pf and instead double quote i'll type fps equal to one that means i want to take image or one frame from each second of the video and then i'll define the output image format since every second it will take one image so i have to define how the image will be named so i'm typing frame percentage 4d means it will take four character to order the name of the file means the first frame will be named frame 0001 and so on and i mean i'm having the frames as png okay the command is ready i'm hitting on enter and let's see what happens the processing is complete in a blink of an eye so i'm going to the directory and earlier here we only had three files the folder the zip file downloaded and the input video now we have 10 files and each image is very high in quality according to, to the video this is a 4k video of 9 second and we have got 10 frames this is the frames so we have just converted a video to a series of image or frames let's once again go to the command prompt here in the earlier command i have defined fps equal to one because if a video is 30 fps and if i do not define this then this command will generate 30 frame for each second that means if a video is 10 second long then this command will generate 300 images if you actually need each single frame then let's delete all the files here and type the command without this fps equal to one and hitting on 